Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop, and in this video I want to teach you and show you how to install the Classic Editor plugin and why you should install the Classic Editor plugin right now. Well, the Classic Editor plugin, I can see it here over at WordPress.org, and it is a plugin to edit in the editor just as you've been used to, editing your pages and your WordPress posts. The reason why you need to install this now is because Gutenberg, which is going to be the new environment for editing your pages and posts, is coming out within days. And I don't want you to be caught by surprise when all of a sudden your WordPress site looks totally different and you don't know what to do. So it's very easy to install this and activate it and then you won't be caught off guard. And I have a blog post called What is Gutenberg and Why I'm Not Using It? And this should say yet. Uh, this blog post explains this. And I'll include a link to that blog post below. So first, let's go into our WordPress dashboard. Now, when you log in to WordPress and you're in your dashboard, so this video is for people who already have a WordPress website. If you don't already have a WordPress website, my next website creation workshop course is coming up soon so you can join me in that and learn how to build a WordPress website. But this video is for people who already have a WordPress site and I really, really, really don't want you to be caught off guard. So when you log into your dashboard, if you see this message, then that means you don't yet have the classic editor installed and also you don't yet have Gutenberg. So this is what you want. You want to see this. Now this on the left is for coders, developers, programmers, people who want to try out new software code. But my community is made up of business owners, coaches, consultants, healers, artists, non-techie people, and this is what I recommend that you do. The not quite yet ready and installing the classic editor. Uh, it's my belief that, you know, let the programmers and the developers who are awesome work out all the nuances of the new Gutenberg editor before us end users start using it. So all you want to do is click on install the classic editor and you'll see it'll spin and say it's installing and then the next thing you want to do is click to activate it and it will update and nothing will really look different when you come back to the dashboard you won't see that notice anymore so that notice disappeared and when you come over to plugins and look at your installed plugins you'll see the classic editor has been installed and it is listed under the active plugins. So you can click on, if you're not quite sure, you can click on active plugins and I can see that it's installed. And then nothing else will look different. So as you could see, that took about five minutes, really easy. So again, you'll, you'll look at your site. I'll go to the outside of the graphics creation workshop and I won't see anything different when I edit my pages. I won't see anything different, but it will save you from confusion when the new WordPress comes out and Gutenberg is automatically installed and everything looks different. So am I telling you to never use Gutenberg? No, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is by installing the classic editor, you won't be caught off guard. And then when you're ready to use a new editor, you can turn it on. If you don't do this five minute thing that I just showed you, you might get caught off guard and be totally lost and not know, hey, why can't I edit my page or post? So hopefully you're watching this video, going over to your WordPress site, installing the classic editor, thinking, well, that was easy, and then going about your merry way. Again, if you don't yet have WordPress, I've got a new class coming up soon. Look for the link below to find out more about that. And you can always find that up at the top of my website on the next workshop link. 
This is Christina Hills from the website Creation Workshop.